Hello, Project 3, how are you? Everyone okay? Excellent. Right, this is the first week of a different timetable. So today you get the YouTube video, okay? But on Wednesday, you will get a Zoom class, all right? So one video and one online class. Remember to look at your emails to check you have the invitation to the Zoom class. If you don't, no problem. Contact me and I will send it to you. OK, so today we're going to be looking at page 71. 71, 71. Everyone there? Excellent. So first we're going to look at a bit of grammar. Look at exercise three. All right. Here we have a sentence that was in the story from last week. Remember the story of Sweet Sue and Smart Alec catching the thieves? Yeah. So in exercise three, very simple. Can you complete the sentence from the story? OK, I'm going to give you 30 seconds to complete the sentence. All right. Are you ready? 30 seconds. Go. Ten more seconds. Have you got it yet? All right, let's have a look. So, oh, see if I can put my board here. Right. Can you see the sentence? Good. Let's complete it then. I must stay awake. I mustn't fall asleep. So must and mustn't, what do you think they mean? I must stay awake. I mustn't fall asleep. Good, yeah, I must is, it's an obligation. It's really important. I must stay awake. And I mustn't fall asleep means it's prohibited. Don't do it. It's very bad. OK. Now, can you find any other examples in this story of must and mustn't? Where? What other examples can you find? Look at picture three. You mustn't touch that switch. Hmm. In picture four, I must go and have a look. In picture, oh, I can't see any more. OK, so with must and mustn't. So remember, must, obligation, and mustn't, mm -mm, prohibition. All right. So to have a practice of must and mustn't, OK, ignore exercise four. No. And look at exercise five. Here we have some different signs and some verbs. Can you see the verbs in the box? We need to write one instruction for each sign using these verbs. All right. Now let's look at the verbs quickly to make sure we understand them. The first one, show. Show me your pencil case. Ta -da! Okay. Show me your pen. Da -da! So show is when you hold it for another person to look at. Stop. Ooh, stop. Easy peasy. Take. OK, so take, take. Turn is when we go right or left. Switch off. What can you switch off? Switch off the light off and on, switch off a computer, switch off a phone, good. Talk, easy peasy, talk, talk, talk. Wear is for clothes, wear a t-shirt, wear a cardigan. Touch with your fingers, touch something. Cr 
cross is when we go over a bridge, over a road. We cross the bridge, cross the road, cross the river. And finally, swim. Easy peasy. Swim. Now, if you look here, all right, I've put the signs on my board. I know I am basically Picasso. So let's look at number one together and then you can do the other ones on your own. So number one, is this an obligation or a prohibition? Must or mustn't? Good, it's must. So the instruction, you must, what must we do? Which verb can we use? Good, turn. So you must turn. And which way you must turn? Left, very good. You must turn left. All right. So now I'd like you to pause the video and write an instruction for number two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And when you finish, press play and we'll go through the answers. Okay? So remember to use the verbs in the box in exercise five to write the instructions. Okay? Are you ready? Then pause now. All right, do you have an answer for each picture? Good, then let's go through. What do we have for number two? You must or you mustn't? Good, you must. You must. And what must you do? Good, you must show your, in this situation, your, oh, I can't spell your passport. Good, you must show your passport. Here is my passport. Please, can I come in? <laughs> All right, number three then, with a cross. Is that must or mustn't? Good, mustn't. So you mustn't. And what mustn't you do? Good, you mustn't swim. Excellent. Be careful with the spelling of mustn't. The pronunciation, mustn't. But with the spelling, don't forget, T, must-unt. Okay, very important. Number four, you, good, you mustn't take photos. Excellent, well done. Number five, you must, it's a red light, so you must stop. Very good. Number six then, with a cross, you must or you mustn't? Good, you mustn't. You mustn't touch. Good, you mustn't touch the flowers. You mustn't touch electricity. You mustn't touch this. <laughs> Number seven then. What do we think? You must or you mustn't? Ah, now this one is a little bit tricky. Here, you must switch off your mobile phone. Because look at the picture. It says no mobiles. So if there's no mobile, you have to switch off the mobile. You must switch off your mobile phone. Okay. Number eight then. What's the instruction? You mustn't talk. Very good. You mustn't talk. Number nine, you must or you mustn't. We have a red man. Good, when it's red, you can't go. So you mustn't cross. And finally, 
I know, my picture is pretty amazing. What must you do here? Yes, you must wear a helmet, a hat, something like this. You must wear a hat. Easy peasy? Excellent. All right, so now we're going to go back and look at exercise four. Okay, now with exercise four, we have three more sentences from the story. OK, so this time I'm going to give you 20 seconds to complete the three sentences. All right. Are you ready? 20 seconds. Go. Five seconds. Okay, let's have a look. What did you have? So number one, we must catch those thieves. Yeah, it's necessary. It's an obligation. It's something that we have to do. Number two, you mustn't touch that switch. Good. So this one, don't do it. Don't touch the switch. And finally, number three, you don't have to stay here again tonight. So we already know must and mustn't. Yep, must, an obligation, it's necessary. Mustn't, don't do it. The third one, don't have to, means it's not necessary. You can... Yes, it's not a prohibition, but it's not necessary. All right. So now we're going to have a little practice with the three of these. Must, mustn't and don't have to. OK, look at exercise six. All right. Here we have ten sentences about the rules at Matt's school. OK, so we're going to listen to Matt talking about the rules. And for each sentence, can you say must, mustn't or don't have to? OK, so remember, must, it's necessary. Mustn't, don't do it. And don't have to, it's not necessary. OK, so before we listen... Let's read the 10 sentences. Number one, wear a uniform. So a uniform. Number two, wear jewellery. Jewellery is ring, earrings, necklace, bracelet. Number three, arrive at school before 8.45. Number four, go to school on Saturdays. Ah! Number five, smoke. Number six, stand up when a teacher comes in. Number seven, run in the corridors. The corridors are the long part of the school. So it's long and we have classrooms on each side. Number eight, stay in the playground at break time. So the playground is the area you go to outside when you're not studying. And break time is the recreation time. Number nine, go outside when it rains. And number ten, switch off mobile phones in lessons. OK, so listen and for each of the sentences write must mustn't or don't have to. OK, are you ready? Let's listen. Page 71, exercise 6A. School rules? Yes, we've got a lot of rules at our school. We must wear a uniform, but that's OK. We mustn't wear jewellery, and some of the girls don't like that. 
We must be at school by quarter to nine, Monday to Friday. We don't have to go to school on Saturdays. We mustn't smoke, of course. What else? Well, we must stand up when a teacher comes into the room, and we mustn't run in the corridors. We must stay in the playground at break time, but we don't have to go outside when it rains. Oh, and we mustn't use mobile phones in lessons. All right. What did you think? Did you get everything correct? Right. Let's repeat. Okay, and then we'll check the answers. Page seventy-one, exercise six A. School rules. Yes, we've got a lot of rules at our school. We must wear a uniform, but that's okay. We mustn't wear jewelry, and some of the girls don't like that. We must be at school by quarter to nine, Monday to Friday. We don't have to go to school on Saturdays. We mustn't smoke, of course. What else? Well, we must stand up when a teacher comes into the room, and we mustn't run in the corridors. We must stay in the playground at break time, but we don't have to go outside when it rains. Oh, and we mustn't use mobile phones in lessons. All right, so let's have a quick look at the answers. All right, number one, wear a uniform, must. Number two, wear jewellery, mustn't. Number three, arrive at school before quarter to nine, must. Number four, go to school on Saturdays, don't have to. Phew, it's not necessary. Number five, smoke, mustn't, of course. Number six, stand up when a teacher comes in, must. Number seven, run in corridors, mustn't. Number eight, stay in the playground at break time, must. But number nine, go outside when it rains, don't have to. And finally, number ten, Switch off mobile phones in lessons. Mustn't. OK, so do you have everything correct? Of course you do. All right. So your homework I would like you to do is think of two rules for your school. One with must and one with mustn't. OK, I'd like you to take some paper and on one side write the must rule. And on the other, the mustn't. And then can you draw a picture to illustrate the rule? OK, so a bit like these. All right. But for your school, one with must and one with mustn't. You don't need to send it to me in our class on uh, Wednesday, the Zoom class. We'll look at them then. OK. All right then, guys, see you in class on Wednesday. I'm looking forward to it. All right, bye.